Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top 10 favorite crystals for the month of October, as well as a little sneak peek inside of my personal crystal collection. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you like the crystals that you saw today here, and we're just gonna jump right into it. First up, we have my mountain display in my room. My awesome cousin Danny actually built this for me and I absolutely love it. The first piece that was shown was a carnelian and I've had this since I started my business uh, two years ago. Carnelian is a great stone to have if you own a small business. Next are two of the little cubby shelves that I have in the office. Um, I keep my crystals that I use most often in there just because I spend the most time in my office. So anything um, tumble stone related or pocket size I like to keep close by so I can just reach for it whenever I want to use it. I also have this gorgeous selenite slab that I use for photo displays um, on the Crystal Vibes Instagram page. This is a pink amethyst slab that I actually picked up in Tucson with my mom. I display my perfumes on top as well as my jewelry and the blue chalcedony tower is from Natalie. These are some of my favorite pieces in my collection. I found some of these in Denver. Here we have my blue calcite bowl filled with all of my shivas and palm stones. I also keep this in my office just so it's easily available to me and I can grab whichever palm stone I'd like to use for the day. First up, we have the Blue Shelite Tower. This is from Soul Body Gems. Blue Shelite is mined in Turkey. The mine is actually now closed because unfortunately the owner of the mine did pass away about two years ago now. Blue Shelite is an amazing stone to have to help you sleep at night. I keep one in the office and one in my room. The blue striations I think are just so gorgeous and it's such a calming stone. The second piece is a citrine tower that I got from Sarita Crystals. Natalie and Jaden are just the kindest people and I've been lucky enough to have met them at the Denver Gem Show to go for dinner as well as Tucson. I cannot wait to meet up with them again. Citrine is a beautiful crystal that you can use to manifest abundance. It is a stone that has a warm yellow glow to it and commonly has beautiful internal rainbows. Here we have a piece that I hold near and dear to my heart. This is an amethyst flower agate sphere. This sphere is just so mind-blowing to me. I found this as a one-of piece from one of my suppliers and I truly couldn't believe it when they sent me a photo. Amethyst and flower agate forming together is quite rare to come across and I'm very, very lucky to be able to have a piece in my collection. Here we have a beautiful amethyst cup base with a calcite. This is from the beautiful Crist Oil Apothecary. Heather is the kindest soul. I connected with Heather very early on when I started Crystal Vibes and I'm so grateful to know her. Here we have an agate geode tower from Sapphire and Sage. Sapphire and Sage is another crystal company on Instagram who I absolutely idolize and adore. I love her page and her crystals. When I saw this in a preview that she posted for a live sale, I felt so connected to it and I was very lucky to be the first person to um, bid on it. And it's been on my mountain shelf ever since in my bedroom and I just adore it. Here we have a rose quartz tower with dendrites and for anybody that knows me you know that I love dendrites. I am so drawn to them and it's the number one thing that I look for in crystals. This is from Cassie Rose. Cassie is the most pure soul I have ever met on Instagram and I'm so excited to hopefully meet her in person one day. She sells the most beautiful magical crystals and she just has the warmest energy. I highly suggest checking out Cassie Rose. She is fabulous. 
Ooh, up next is the California Blue Jade from Crystal Lion Gem. Christina is an awesome person. <laughs> I met her in Denver at a dinner and I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these rare California blue jades. These only form in California um, so they are considered quite rare and I was just very fortunate to be able to purchase a piece from a crystal lion gem. Next up, we have some of my all-time favorite Shivas. These Shivas are from Sugar Studio Crystals. Her page is just so stunning on Instagram and it's just a place that just makes you feel so happy. So if you're ever having a bad day, definitely check out Sugar Studio Crystals page because the energy is just gorgeous and it really transmits through her crystals as well. Here we have a clear quartz Shiva, a smoky quartz Shiva, and a black tourmaline Shiva. I like to use them for days that I'm feeling like I need a little um, protection. Next, we have a dendritic limestone slab from the beautiful Hazel Witch here on Instagram. Imogen, I met early on in my crystal journey and we are roughly the same age. Um, we connected immediately and she's just such a kind soul. I'm so grateful for our friendship. She messaged me letting me know that she had this piece available in her shop and I immediately scooped it up because I love dendrites so darn much. Here we have mini pyrite cubes from Rocks with Sass. I purchased these um, in hopes to use them exactly how I'm using them here. I like to kind of fiddle around with them in my hand when I'm feeling stressed out. Um, instead of a worry stone, I just feel like these are so much fun to just kind of play back and forth with and just kind of take your mind off of things. That is the end of my top 10 favorite crystals for October. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed a little sneak peek into my crystal collection and I promise in the future I will show you guys more. Stay tuned for November's top 10 favorite crystals because it'll be coming soon. Bye guys!